Hello everyone and welcome to our universe. Today we'll be talking all about Jupiter. We'll be asking certain questions like how large is Jupiter? What is the great red spot? Does Jupiter have a solid surface? And many other questions. So let's jump right in and talk all about Jupiter. So Jupiter is one of five planets that we can see in the night sky using a telescope or binoculars. The planet Jupiter has been known since ancient times, and it has been observed for thousands of years by people of many different cultures. So how large is Jupiter compared to Earth? Well, Jupiter has a diameter of 88,695 miles which is more than 11 times the diameter of Earth, and its volume is over 1,300 times the volume of Earth. This means that Jupiter is so big that over 1,300 Earths could fit inside of it. Jupiter is so big that it weighs two and a half times the weight of all the other eight planets put together. So one thing that you see on Jupiter straight away is the giant red spot. So what exactly is it? Well, the giant red spot is a giant spinning storm in Jupiter's atmosphere. It is like a hurricane on Earth, but much larger. Jupiter's great red spot is more than twice the size of Earth and can sometimes be three times the size. The winds inside of the storm reach speeds of over 270 miles per hour. And nobody quite knows when the giant red spot first appeared on Jupiter, but it has been seen ever since people started looking through telescopes about 400 years ago. So with Jupiter being so massive and big, how strong is the gravity? The gravity on Jupiter is greater than the gravity on Earth, because Jupiter is just simply more massive. Although Jupiter is a great deal larger in size, its surface gravity is just 2.4 times that of the surface gravity on Earth. This is because Jupiter is made mostly of gases. So how long does it take Jupiter to go around the Sun? Jupiter orbits around the Sun approximately once every 12 Earth years, and Jupiter travels at an average speed of about 30,000 miles per hour. So how long is a day on Jupiter? Well, Jupiter is the fastest spinning planet in the solar system, rotating on average just once in under 10 hours. This means that Jupiter has the shortest day of all the planets in the solar system. Since Jupiter is mainly made out of gas, it doesn't rotate as a solid sphere. This means that Jupiter's equatorial regions rotates faster than its polar regions. So, one question is, because it's mainly gas, does Jupiter have a solid surface? Well, we don't exactly know if it does have a solid surface. Jupiter's clouds are thought to be about 30 miles thick. Below this is a 13,000 mile thick layer of hydrogen and helium, which changes from gas to liquid as the depth and pressure increases. Beneath the liquid hydrogen is a 25,000 mile deep sea of liquid metallic hydrogen. And beneath this, there might be a solid core, which is about one and a half times the size of Earth, but 30 times more massive. So if you look at Jupiter through a telescope or through binoculars, you see these little dots around the planet. These are the moons. So how many moons does Jupiter have? Well, from what we know, Jupiter has at least 63 known moons. The largest are called Io, Europa, Ganymede, and Callisto. These four moons are called the Galilean satellites because they were first seen in 1610 by the astronomer of Galileo Galilei. Jupiter also has the largest moon in the solar system, Ganymede. Ganymede is actually larger than the planet Mercury. And it also has the most active moon in the solar system. Io. This is covered with active volcanoes, covered with sulphur. Another moon is Callisto. This may have a water ocean beneath its heavily cratered, icy rocky surface. 
and one of the most famous moons in the solar system is Europa. This is covered by a cracked icy surface, and scientists are pretty sure that it has a liquid ocean underneath its surface. And Jupiter also has other moons that are smaller, and also some that have irregular shapes. Most of these small moons are thought to be asteroids which are caught by Jupiter's strong gravity. So finally we're going to be talking about an event that happened to Jupiter that was recorded by NASA. Well between the 16th of July and the 22nd of July in 1994, several pieces of the comet Shoemaker-Levy 9 collided with Jupiter. It was the first collision of two solar system objects ever observed. The comet had been captured and broken apart by Jupiter's strong gravity. More than 20 fragments of the comet crashed into Jupiter's southern hemisphere. These were high speed, very, very energetic impacts. The impacts released a lot of energy and created several large dark scars that lasted more than several weeks. This comet, even though broken into fragments by Jupiter's gravity, was a great understanding that asteroids and comets can cause massive destructive events in the solar system. So, I hope that's given you a great insight into all about Jupiter. And as always, if you've enjoyed the video, click the like button, and if you want to support the channel, click subscribe. Thank you for watching.